Um, my name is Steve Cook, and I, uh, I'm the Assistant Director of Public Works and Transportation for the City of Arlington, and um, I've been the one that you visited with if you've called or talked to anybody about your application process. There's a listing up here on the table of all the people who have submitted successful applications. Um, today we were going to select 40, we're going to select the, the operators that will represent 40 pedicabs to operate underneath um, the guidelines of our ordinance. We will also select five additional pedicabs, however many operators that would be, if that's one or if that's three, we'll select five additional pedicabs as alternates. Um, we will also, this, this lottery is based on operators, not the number of pedicabs, so we only have sec six selections to make, um, six possible selections to make. Um, one owner, one operator, that is on this list is currently under an administrative appeal. He has been denied by me, and there are two appeals above me from when that occurs, and um, he is on his second appeal. Um, so that person is possible could possibly be rejected at a later date, and if that were to occur, the five people that we have as alternates would be immediately put into the active status instead of the alternate status. If his appeal is successful, then that will not occur, and then the alternates will be the people that we use if anybody else falls out within the original um, 40 that we have selected. Um, if you are here representing one of these companies, please look at the listing that you have before you and make sure that what is stated there is correct. Um, and I'd like to thank Lindsay. She was the brains of this whole outfit, and she just made sure I didn't mess up mostly. So thank you, Lindsay. Um, but this is the same list that everybody has. If I could get y'all to look at it and tell me it's the same as the one you have in front of you. Okay, this will be the official document we use for the selection process. That's the heading, we're not gonna use that. Nothing left. The first one. Metroplex rickshaw with five vehicles. <laughs> you like the way I select? Second selection. VIP shuttle service with seven vehicles. Third selection is Go Green Taxi with three vehicles. Fourth selection is Space City Pedicab with 10 vehicles. The uh, fifth selection is Movement Pedicab with 10 vehicles. Spelling got me again. That total gets us up to 35 pedicabs at this time. We only have space for five more pedicabs. The next selection will be, if they have up to five, we'll complete the number of pedicabs that will be available for this under our ordinance. Um, and if they have, 
If they have 10, they'll have five more. We'll have five more of their paddy calves being the alternate. The last selection is L&L Cruisers with 10 vehicles. That means that L&L Cruisers is currently, um, can currently use five vehicles and we'll have five as our alternate. which gives us 45, the total that we can have is 40. So that will actually be five, gives us a total of 40. That completes the lottery process for our, um, for our pedicab operator um, lottery. If anybody has any further questions or concerns, please let me know. Anything else we need to do? You two gentlemen have any questions? Would you like to look at the selections as they came, the order they came in? Okay, that's it then. We will notify you as we know more about, obviously I'm going to notify everybody of this, but as we know more about the appeal process that I alluded to earlier, then that could, that could move L&L &L into a different position than they are, currently are. Mike Bass is the person you contact for the inspection of your vehicles. Okay, he is in our... I will give him your contact information and the number of vehicles that you... In fact, I'll probably give him... I may even give him the application so he'll have the pictures of the ones you submitted um, so that he can go through that process with you. That'll be your next process. You also need to get, um, pay your money to get your certificate um, of operation. And, and you also need to get your driver's certified all drivers have to have a license and that goes through me as well so that within the 29th is the first day we can operate of March so before the 29th you need to get all those things happening Mike Bass is assistant director of community services Bob and not that's the title Mike Bass is assistant director of community services and yes sir and he's gonna he's over essentially the people who do the inspections on your vehicle you will come here to pay for your permits and to pick up your licenses and those things. That all happens here. I have no idea where Mike's going to want you to take your vehicle. I don't have a clue. I'll try to look at that information when I send all this stuff to you. Give me a day to get this turned into him, and then I'll, I'll send you, when I send this out information out, I'll send you the name and number of the person to contact. Actually, yeah, that's, that's fine. We'll go to, uh, you don't bring me the check. I'll give you the information and then you take it to, uh, this, it's on the second floor with me. Up there on the, you've seen me, you came to see me the second floor, but it's a, just across the stairway pole there where you actually take your check and then you bring it back, your receipt, and then we'll give you your certification. So when they, you send that information out? I'll have all that stuff in there, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank y'all. Thanks for coming. I'm glad I had an audience. I'd have felt weird standing here by myself. <laughs>